And we're back, everybody. Hi, I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> D- due to popular demand, <laughs> my mom is back. Yes. Hi, son. Hi, Amu. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm, ex- I'm here. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited for this week. Yeah, me too. Before we start, the last time was my first uh, ever podcast. Ever podcast, and some of the nice people that uh, left comments for me. Okay. And so that was a very positive, and I would like to shout out to them. Oh, look at look at we got <laughs> some right. we got some mom shout outs. Okay, David, Tyler, Luke, Christopher, Joshua, Will. And Alberto, I really appreciate. Actually, you guys motivated me to be here again. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's a, you guys should feel proud. You got some dangerous mom shout outs. <laughs> um, so what are we gonna uh, talk today? Well, I'm, you, uh, you, I voted today. See that? I have my sticker. I love stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, what this is. You voted. Uh, do you vote every time? I vote every single time. Every single time. Every single time. I never miss. What was the first time you voted? When was the first time? I think it was 2002 or two, no, I think 2002 or 1998. <laughs> I forgot. Well, did you vote for did you vote in the Bush Gore Bush Gore election? Yes. Oh, so yes. 2000. That was your first yes. one. Uh, that was no, I voted for Clinton too. That's in 96? 90 Was it the 98? Oh, to, oh, then the Bush, yeah. Bush, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you want to know who I voted for? Did you vote for Bush? Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 I was the first Republican. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I distinctly remember you being a Republican and then slowly switching slowly. sides over the years. Yes, now I'm independent, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, you know, wow. Yeah. Ooh, you're not a, you wouldn't call yourself a Democrat? I'm leaning towards more Democrat, but I feel like I'm independent because some of the stuff I don't agree with them. But okay, okay, I like that. That's a f- that's a yeah. fair nuance point. But yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm registered as a Democrat. Uh, to vote in the primaries. The primary, yes. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Yeah, in, ca- in California, to vote in the primaries, you have to be registered on that party. Correct. Yeah, because I'm registered independent, so I can't vote in any of the primaries. Oh really? And the Barney time last. Uh, I, I couldn't vote for I couldn't vote for Bernie. Baba did it. Is he a registered independent? Yeah, he's registered and independent. I'm the only one is that has a party affiliation. None of you guys have any party affiliation. Even Iman is Iman registered independent? I think so. Oh wow! Look at us. We're we're an independent family. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you voted for Bush. Did Baba vote for, did Baba vote for Gore? I don't know. We don't talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, keep it. That's their, uh, everybody's choice. Yeah, yeah. That's no, old school. I that's an old school he, mentality. Uh, I think he did vote for Bush. Okay. I think, yeah. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. I, I, I was telling... I was telling and my... I, I don't regret it. Yeah, I was telling my friends if they... If they knew how... If I knew how you voted. They asked if I knew how you voted during the 2000 election. It was, it was a while ago. And I said, if I had to guess, I would have to guess they voted Bush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was the yeah. what was the what was the so you became a citizen in two thousand or like ninety nine ish? Yeah, around that time. What was that? What was that yeah. process like? Like let's say, let's say I'm not a citizen. How do I get uh-huh. started? How do I get started in becoming a citizen? Become a citizen. I we came as a student visa, right? Okay. And we went to H uh, one visa. Then we went. What's an H one visa? That Baba was working. That uh, a company was sponsoring him to be here. It's like a married. Uh, Highly uh, educated people, they sponsor. Like okay. They have like a, yeah, yeah, so, like so NASA, NASA, uh, NASA sponsored yes, it. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, in five years, we were a uh, green card holder. Okay. Well, it, it, is years, green card different than H-1 visa? Yes. So what's H1 the difference, between, what's the the difference green, between green card and H-1? Green card, H-1, that you are... Uh, you are not entitled of a lot of st- uh, stuff. Mm. And as a green card holder, you're pretty much like a, the benefit you can enjoy as the as a citizen, but you're not allowed to vote. Okay, so what's so like so much. like what's the benefit you have as a green card holder that you don't have as an H one visa holder? Oh, H one uh, visa holder, you are still a foreign. Uh, consider that you're a foreigner. Okay. But when you are a green card holder, you are a permanent resident of the United States of America. Okay. 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 So, okay, so then uh, how do you go from green card to citizen? What are the steps? So when you are in the United States and green card holder for staying five years, then uh-huh. you're eligible to apply for uh, citizenship. Okay, and what's that process like? Then you just apply your application and then you wait. I think we had to wait like about two years to become citizen. Okay. And then when it comes, you go for interview. Okay, what's the interview like? 
interview, it was a little bit of nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. The guy sitting first, so like very serious. Right. And then he was actually asking me about the American government, all the branches and the Bill of Rights and all this. And then the pretty much at the end of the uh, interview, he asked me, would you go uh, to war to defend this country? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt like, oh, did I look like that fit? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of course I said, yes, I would go <laughs> because I wanted the citizenship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, really, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And my citizenship came actually earlier than Baba. Did Baba, Baba said no? Oh, Baba. They didn't ask Baba. They didn't ask Baba. <laughs> no. They asked me. Yeah, they looked at Baba and said, we don't need him to fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so th there was no, like, is there no, like, like actual sit-down test or it's just a straight interview? How does, is that? No, no, no. There was a written exam. Okay. So you do the written exam, then was a sit-down uh, interview. And face-to-face. Uh, -face. What did they ask you on the, on, on the test? To, uh, uh, on this test, mm -hmm. that was also that's an American government. This so like much the is. branches, the, the Bill of Rights. Did you have to know all? Rights, did you have to know all uh, ten amendments? Yes, I knew then. You knew then? <laughs> yeah. Do, okay, yeah. but uh, what do you what do you remember <laughs> of the ten amendments now? If I were if, if you were if I was like name what the amendments are. Oh, the first amendment. I okay. The freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. The second amendment, the bare arms. Okay. I probably that this much I can remember. Okay, <laughs> that's not that's not bad. I feel like that's better than the. I feel like that's average. About an average American can name the first two for sure. Yeah. Because I can name. I can. I mean, I can name two, th maybe three. I can, the third one I know. Like that. I think that's one is like the third amendment is like if soldiers soldiers can't come and just live in your house if there's a war on domestic soil. Like okay, they, I'll look it up. They can't just take your house as the re third. Re recently, I have read, but it's sort of, uh, I mean, hard to remember all those. Yeah, things. but you had to know all of them at the time. Oh, yes. That's it. I had known from top to bottom. So it's funny that uh, the, the, a citizen coming to America, or uh, it's not sorry, a citizen who's taking the test knows more about our political system than the average American. Yeah. I think so. I think so. You have because to. Because I have to. You have I to. I have to know. Yeah. Uh, I can, like I said, I could. I, I told you I could name maybe the Third Amendment. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and and I'm and I, and I'm like and I, and I read. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you read. Yeah. I see that. You are a voracious reader. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. You're the second person to say that to me in the last like couple months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be because I saw Baba. And yeah. I Baba read a lot. Then I saw you to read, and I was not a reader. No, I was, no, uh, I was. I did not like to read at all. But Baba, in my like in a birthday or anything, he will give me a book. The once he got me a book, is the Angela's Ashes. I remember that Frank book. Frank McCormick. Yeah, you. That was one of your favorite books. Frank McCourt. For, uh, Frank, Mac, Mac, Frank McCourt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he gave me the book, and I was. I said this book, and I was not happy about that. He said. You have so much time. You complain you're bored. Read about it. I said, no, I don't read book. He said, just read. <laughs> so I started reading, and I could not put it down. That mm. book made me cry, made me laugh, and made me a reader. Really? And since then, I, I read. I try to read. I, I kind of gotten a little less, but I want to get back to it because yeah. it fit my soul. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, you feel good after reading. There's, some, there's something about it, more than a movie, more than a TV show mm -hmm. that like, mm -hmm. completes you. Yeah. I'm glad that you did not ask me who did I vote for this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for blue. You're going to go for blue. You're, you're, gonna go for blue. You've, you've, come, you've come around to blue. You started, you started red and now you're blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah, and then what I feel like that uh, I felt like that I always believed in that the, we have the largest democracy in the world. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like really, we really do have the largest democracy in the world. Because the way we choose our president by the electoral college just seems like to me is very democratic. It feels like undemocratic. Well, it's it, it's not democratic in the sense that you don't have to have the majority of votes to win, right? So two times in my lifetime, the president okay. lost the popular vote. Uh, lost the popular vote. Actually, in uh, U.S. history, it's a five times. Yeah, it happens quite a bit. Quite a bit. So yeah. it's it's not very democratic in that sense. Mm -mm. No. And uh, the Electoral College before was kind of a bias, too, because they could vote anybody they want to. The yeah. Electors. Yeah. They didn't have that's they don't have to listen to the votes at all. Votes at all. Yeah. But then the, like a 
all the state, but mm -hmm. the Maine and the Nebraska passed the law that electoral vote uh, will vote the people, the candidate who gets the majority of the vote. I'm glad that. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in Nebraska and Maine, you can win. You can win yeah. one of the votes. Uh, Obama did it. Obama was the last one to do it. Yeah, because there is Because he lost faithless. Nebraska, but he won yeah. one of the districts. Because the, this is a faithless uh, vote, they call, that yeah. the elector, they can vote, vote whatever, whoever they want. Yeah, there was That's a, in, uh, I think during Jimmy Carter, when Jimmy Carter ran against Gerald Ford, one of the electors who was supposed to vote for Ford cast his vote for um, Reagan. Reagan. Oh, that called the faithless. Yes, faithless, faithless vote. vote. So Reagan, Reagan had one electoral vote in seventy-eight, I believe. Yeah. Or so seventy-six. That's why it doesn't 76. seem like very mm -hmm. democratic to me. I mean, the electoral college should be abolished. You think so? Oh, wow, that's a I hard line so. stance. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that America tried once to abolish the uh, electoral college? They were so close. Yeah. Do you do you, do you know the r argument against it? Argument against it. I feel like it, that the uh, the the every uh, party comes to the power, they c can abuse. They can go around our constitution and use to benefit them. So I think it's pretty much like that. And then, what do you tell me? So why? so 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 the reason the the argument against it is, uh, if you bo abolish the electoral college, then the cities then become super powerful. Because they have the they have the they have the populations the cities and the cities will then people the politicians will start catering to the cities and then leave the rural people behind behind and so it's 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 a delicate balance I I don't think the electoral vote uh, uh, college should be abolished but I do think there needs to be some sort of so like Wyoming gets one electoral vote for every 300,000 people. Yeah, but then and California, California gets one for every 100,000 people. Yeah, that's not fair. That's, that isn't fair. That I mean, isn't fair. California should get m more. more. It should be... Uh, they should get a little more. It should, yeah. uh, honestly, it should, it should be uh, based on how much money you bring into the economy. Yeah. <laughs> that's how, it, that's how I think you should, the vote should be accounted for. Because it's also the way the electoral vote was uh, going, uh, I mean, selected. There was a based on the slave and all. The, there is a, like a very complex. Yes. American uh, political system is very convoluted. It's very, I mean, hard to understand in general public. Is yeah, we sort of uh, we sort of need to sort of update the Constitution, I feel like. It's been so long. So long. You know what happened after it passed? Mm -hmm. uh, the George Washington got out the uh, convention and said that uh, I don't expect that constitution lasts for more than 20 years. And look at that, it's over 200 years. Yeah. And the constitution is written only less than 6,000 words. And the... Mm -hmm. do, you, and so, huh? Go ahead. do you know the two crimes that are mentioned in the constitution? This is just constitution knowledge. I think there's only two, two crimes, crimes that are mentioned in the constitution. Tell me what was two crimes. Treason? Oh, treason, yeah. And yeah. trespassing. And trespassing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember it yeah. <laughs> Those are the only two that are mentioned in the Constitution. <laughs> the Constitution. Yeah, so, so it's a very big gap between the two crimes. Mm -hmm. Very. Do you know when the America tried to abolish the uh, Electoral College? <sighs> very If I had to guess? guess mid in the 70s in that time, 70s, Good 60s. Job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, based on, just based on how... Yes, it was 1969. Okay. The House of Representatives, they uh, amend the Constitution to abolish the mm -hmm. Electoral College. It's very huge vote. Like, it was 338 by 70 votes. Okay. And it was sent it to a Senate. But it was in September 18, 1969. Then people started all the big party. They started no, it's very close to the election. We mm. cannot change the constitution at this time. We will do it after the election. Right. But now look at that. What we do right before a uh, week before election. Right. So the year passed by. The election was done, and then it came to the Senate to. Uh, then it was uh, filibustered by uh, very powerful Southern uh, lawmakers. I, I'd imagine. I'd imagine because yeah, if they you're from the yeah, if you're from the South, you lose a lot of your mm -hmm. political power if you go by popular vote. Even the Senate was only five votes shy for breaking the filibuster. Dang. And that was that close. But I don't think it will ever happen. It will come to ever to the Senate. So it will not. I mean, I can't imagine a situation. I can't imagine a situation where a party who was elected by the Electoral College would be fine with abolishing it. 
Yeah, no, I don't think so. Right? I don't. It, 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 seems, it, it, it seems like if you're in power, it doesn't seem like the right thing for you to do, right? Because the whole thing about being in power is to stay in power. Stay in power, yeah. And more and more you see that American, it's a, recently there was, like, I think, 2014, uh -huh. scientists from the Princeton University did the study mm -hmm. on the influence of the elite derived from the power from the special uh, interest lobbying versus the ordinary U.S. citizen within the uh, American uh, political system. Right. And you know what they, they found? What, what did they find? The, their result found that the United States uh, pretty much looking like an oligarchy mm -hmm. uh, than the uh, real representative of democracy. So that's the, uh, in our system, the way the, you know, the corporate powers and the yeah, lobbying yeah. getting involved, mm -hmm. it seems like that's eroding the, uh, the, the government by the people of the people and for the people. No, no, we're, we're government, the, we're government incorporated. It's we're government the, for the corporations, by the corporations. By the corporations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And also that, like, it's a corporate, like, uh, you know, that finance mm -hmm. and, the, and the gerrymandering. Right. These are all feels like that are very dangerous for the democracy. It seems like it. Yeah. Know. Yeah. But, you know, it's the reality is that el el elites have never wanted you to vote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they never have wanted and, you to vote. And their, uh, and their study also found, in fact, it's found mm -hmm. that the normal, ordinary person, individuals, mm -hmm. has had, like, a non-existent influence all the policy making and everything. Yeah. so i wouldn't be surprised within the next four years regardless of who wins the election within the next four years if you if if you hear a conservative politician be like I'll, only homeowners should be able to vote only landowners should be able to vote that was at the beginning long time ago i know ago, right? i know and they're gonna, that's, the, that's in the constitution yeah yeah, yeah. The, the people can la own the land even mm -hmm. the white people couldn't vote if they didn't have own land. land yeah have yeah land. yeah I, I think I think someone brings that idea back, or at least floats it out there, and then yeah. you know it's like oh, okay, this is how we should do it. Yeah. And what is another thing I wanted to talk about? Yeah, see, so you've okay. you've you've written stuff down. She's got <laughs> oh, more this notes. Is people. Electoral college, oh, okay. but I didn't get a chance to mm -hmm. read. Yeah, when I read, I like to keep a note. Uh -huh. So okay. Well, do what do you know about the hyphenated identity? Hyphenated what? identity. So you're what like. Is it? So it's like Indian American, African American. Is that what you mean? Like, like sort of yeah. your yeah. your American identity is co-opted yeah. by so why a, a previous. Is when we're thing. all American, why is the Indian identity, uh, Indian American, mm -hmm. African American, Black, Muslim, Christian, mm -hmm. or Christian? I never heard. Mm -hmm. Um, especially Muslim, Jews, American. Why is that? It mm -hmm. is. It shouldn't be that way. And it wasn't that way. It started, you know, when the hyphenated uh, identity started? Wait, wait. You're telling me it wasn't always like that? No. At the beginning, it wasn't uh, like that. Even though it had it, but it probably was not used against the people. Like, it's actually started, hyphenated identity started 1890 and last Against the about, Chinese? Uh, 18, 1890 <laughs> sounds like some anti-Chinese stuff. 1890 to 1920. Is this, is this, is this, about, the, is this, is this about the Chinese? To, inspire, to belittle mm -hmm. the people or direct... I mean, uh, uh, what is it? Belittle the people who are foreign-born right. or their kids, their right. offspring. Mm -hmm. And then people started uh, targeting people like that. And they always, they feel like the, um, the Americans feel like that the uh, hyphenated identity people, they have two identities. They oscillate between two cultures and their, their loyalty to this country is questioned. Can you imagine that? So, so that was like in 1904 in the World War War One. That was the World War One was 1914. 1914. Yes. Around that, no, four. No, no, 14. World War One was ended, right? Is it ended that? No, time? World War One went from 1914 to 1919. Oh, that time. Yeah. Okay, so like around 1904. Yeah, that's a big the anti, like a hyphenated Amer uh, a American. A lot of Chinese Americans. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's uh, who it's, this is aimed against for then, sure. And uh, then, like, they would target the uh, German Germans. American, mm -hmm. Irish American, and that word hyphenated American. Italians. Italians. It mm -hmm. was a derogatory word to belittle mm. them. It was not that was not very. Uh, I mean, sophisticated words to use someone. If you wanted to belittle someone, you use that one, and they uh, and they they would consider America would consider that some disloyal 
uh, and dangerous to this country. That's why I don't like the hyphenated uh, right. identity. But I think that now it's very different, right? Do you do you no, do you feel I that feel, way? Oh, I feel that way. Really, I you feel, feel like so? Way. You feel like when someone refers to us as Bangladeshi Americans, you feel like it's yeah. a derogatory thing. It's the, the, I feel it's still different. Look at the, uh, what happened after 9-11. Okay. They targeted the Muslim. Right? right. So if they considered the Muslim as an American citizen, they would not uh, question our loyalty and would mm -hmm. not see us in a different way mm -hmm. as if it was our fault everywhere, right? You were, you were called all the time terrorists. And I got <laughs> I don't think that stopped. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't necessarily and stopped. My business you was should, targeted. You should see my right? TikTok comments. I know. Really? <laughs> yeah. And Every other post calls me Osama. Yeah. yeah, and then my business got targeted because of my identity. Yeah, someone right? drew the swastika. Yeah, swastika. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, do you know which president was against the hyphenated Amer American? I don't know. This could be anything. I, I mean, I, I would <laughs> have it, to guess Obama. It was not, no, it no. was not recent. Oh, it was not recent? All right, all right. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Against it. Mm -hmm. So this is between, before, uh, this is after 1900. G After 1900. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Do you know? I would uh, ask that. This is not Dora the Explorer. I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> they can write me later. <laughs> they can be a comment. <laughs> if I, okay. <laughs> Eisenhower. Mm -mm. One of the other. It was the Terry Roosevelt. Roosevelt, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a 1914. Mm. He actually uh, addressed the Irish American. Okay. That's the time he he, he was outspoken of the American uh, hyphenated America. Can I? I just had it. Uh, uh, this little bit. Do it, what Do what you gotta saw. do. Oh wow! You have quotes. Yes. All right. I, I'll just uh, do the little bit that. Uh, do what you gotta uh, what do. He say in 1915 he said there is no room for hyphenated Americanism. And this one, the way we had the system, only absolutely certain way to bring this nation to ruins, uh, of preventing all possibility of its continuing to be a nation at all. Wow. And at the end, he said that, when it, read that his speech, his beautiful speech. Mm -hmm. At the end, he said, the only man who is a good American is the man who is an American and nothing else. And I believe in that. Ooh, man. That last line, that last line, it's a good line, but also if you're a racist, you can easily use that line for yourself. You can just be like, only good Americans are American, not these... Asian Americans, not these no, African Americans. No, no, everybody is American. When right, right. I'm, American, I'm just saying you could take that line and you can do yeah, a lot with it. It's uh, that. So like you, the, you asked me that whether you feel it, I feel it. Like it's mm -hmm. still the look at the black people. They right. are so discriminated because of their identity, mm -hmm. because they are black. Right. Because uh, so they black. looked at black first before they looked at just America as an American. As an American, first. Mm -hmm. they look everybody. They mm -hmm. look at, because I also get. Uh, I mean, I also sometimes ask people will say, "What is your nationality?" Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, when someone call in my uh, practice and then they ask that, uh, "What is doctor uh, nationality?" and they answer, "Oh, she is American." So no, no, no. What is her nationality? And they didn't know because we don't talk about it. Right. They said, oh, but she looks like Indian. And the person for the other side, uh, other side said, damn Indian, and hang up the phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so that it has, uh, right. you know, what is that? Though? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so they called your office. They called the office of Dr. Ahmad. Uh -huh. And then they got mad that you were brown. <laughs> I'm brown and said, <laughs> and said damn Indian and that's hanged up the so, phone. Yeah. That's said, so funny, though. Mm -hmm. That's I so that's funny. Good. Yeah, I said, that's good. If I told him, yeah, that's very right. If the damn Indian decide not to go to the uh, tech company one day and not to go to the hospital one day, the the tech company and the uh, healthcare system uh, will collapse. Screwed. Healthcare would be screwed if there was no India. Yeah. It, if we just decide not uh. to go even one hour. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. In fact, now it, in a lot of rural places, the doctors are Indians too. It's not yeah. not just yeah, the cities yeah. anymore. They're yeah, like, absolutely. we're like everywhere. So that's why I don't, I don't favor. I don't think there should be any hyphenated. Uh, uh, because you don't have, when they're like a generation after generation, they don't have any tie to the back. 
uh, their ancestors. No, yeah, I'm yeah, very. You should be proud of it. I'm very loose. I'm very loosely tied to Bangladesh. Very loosely. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm proud of what I am, but I'm not like very. I'm not even for first generations. I'm very not Bangladeshi. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then my whatever my kids are going to be are going to be even further I mean, removed from it. You were born and raised this country. This mm-hmm. is your country. You should be loyal to this country. That's that's my. And then as a philanthropist, or if you want to do something, you can go any part of the world. That's mm-hmm. the human work. You can uh, uh, do it. I like that. You like that? I like yeah. that. Yeah. No, I uh, I want to teach our like at some time they will tell why do you teach your kids to do something for Bangladesh. I said they will do it, but their mm-hmm. first uh, they should be. This is their country. They should be loyal to this country. Do something for this country. I like it. And then you then you uh, jump the hoop. I like it. That's a that was a powerful quote that you read. Yeah. That was a good <laughs> quote. That was a good quote. You, th- you do your research. I'll tell you that. No, because uh, as I mentioned to you, I started to read. I don't watch TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not true. You every no, time I go, let's, let's very uh, a little. No, very little. The, CM, the CNN probably. I don't watch the what is called the Bangla drama okay. or something. Okay, like yeah, that. I watch a lot of TV, so I, I yeah, guess you watch all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> British British mysteries. That's yeah, that's yeah. my go-to. Oh, they are they are good. Yeah, they're very good. They're very good, and. Uh, what, do you know that the a new all black group now the do you have any idea what is that the, the NF- Los Angeles Lakers <laughs> <laughs> No NFAC NFAC there's a new there's a new what's the national I don't know what it is. I don't know. Is this the a black? Uh, they call it the militia group. Is uh, oh yeah, established the established nineteen uh, not that long ago, two years ago, two thousand seventeen. Oh wow, in, okay. And Platinum base. Okay. It's called not FSC. Yeah. It's a not fucking around coalition. Oh, okay. Okay. I like that yeah. name. That's a good name. <laughs> it's a good name. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They had a march yeah. recently. They had a march and they are yeah. heavily armed. Well, yeah, it makes heavily sense. It, armed. it makes they sense. There's all these marches with white people heavily armed. It was it yeah, was only yeah, a matter of yeah. time before it's it went the other direction. Other, uh, go to the yeah. uh, direction. Yeah. So all right. Yes, uh, is, is that what you have? Uh, yeah, that, that's that, pretty much I have and Okay, I okay, be- 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 before we go, before we go, I have also prepared something. What, that I am curious that? about. I'm curious okay. about. So, one of my favorite things about you is that every Sunday, you always ask me how my team is doing, even though you know nothing about sports. <laughs> you always <laughs> make sure to check in on me, and I love it. So okay. now, I have a game for you. What is that? Okay. I'm going to list ten teams. You have to tell me whether or not they are an NFL team. A simple yes or no. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's the game, all right? Okay. We'll start okay. easy. The San Francisco 49ers. Yes. Got it right. All right. The Oakland Raiders. Yes. Okay. The Boston Celtics. Yes. Ooh, that is a basketball team. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this game ain't that easy, is it, Mom? <laughs> all right. Number four, the Houston Texans. <laughs> no. That is a football team. Football. You got it okay, wrong. Yes. <laughs> you don't get to change your answer. <laughs> it's okay. I, no, I didn't answer. Before I answered, you said you got it wrong. <laughs> you said no. I heard no, the no. I didn't say no. Okay. Okay. The Alabama Crustables. No. No. All right. <laughs> the Trippy Reds. No. Ooh, that's a good one. The Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Brown. I think yes. Ooh. All right. The Oklahoma City Federal Buildings. What? The Oklahoma <laughs> <No>. City Federal. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 it's possible. I you know this is we're trying to figure it out. The Jacksonville Magicians. No. No. Okay. And the Washington Football Team. Washington Football Team. No. That is a that is an yeah. that is a professional sports team. They're yeah, called the Washington but, Football Team. But is it the NFL team? That is yep. That okay. is their logo. Their logo is okay. the football team. Okay. You did pretty good. I would say you only missed two, really. Yeah. No, I'm you mi- yeah, you only missed Boston Celtics and the football team. That's it. You did a good job. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping my eyes on you. I thought I, I thought I'd, I thought I'd be able to get a oh, one of them by you. <laughs> um yeah, but uh Anything you want to say to the listeners before we go? I would like to say that please subscribe our channel, and I'll try my best to come if you want. Oh, yeah. With David, Lou, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <You're, laughs> Joshua, if you guys want me to be here, I will be here. You're very uh, popular. You're very popular amongst <laughs> amongst the infidels, as we call them. <laughs> the infidels, yeah. 
And the only thing I want to tell before I mm -hmm. go that one of my uh, when I I call you the black sheep, mm -hmm. one of my uh, coworker told me that I'm so mean that I call you the <laughs> black sheep. Yeah. So I said, don't worry about it. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't m mind. mind. I don't mind. And no. today he's a black sheep. Tomorrow he will be goat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that was unbelievably funny. Again, just closing out strong. Thank you. Guys, subscribe. Uh, please leave my mom comments. She loves them. Uh, she also might be doing her own stuff on this channel. She might be doing her own little podcast, her own little interviews. So just, you know, keep a lookout. Subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.